Welcome to Macho and Friends Garage Sale and Thrift Store Hall. What's up, kid? Yo, dogs. It's time for my haul. And I'm going to show you some cool stuff today. This little piece of nostalgia I picked up on the cheap. Boy, I just wish that the new kids would come out with a new album already. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? It's been too long, Macho. Yeah, right on. Well, we, uh... I found this doozy, man. Tanto, from like the 1970s. He's missing an arm, but that's okay. Because he still has one good arm to hold his lady with, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's all we really need. My father would be fine if I had just one arm. Yeah, yeah, she would, huh? What else you got, buddy? Well, I've got some polos to show you guys, but first I'm going to show you some of the other things I picked up. Like, these sweet magazines. Hot dogs with Michael Jackson. That's pretty good. And then I've got another one with the Cosby family. There's probably uh, one or two people in here that you should probably ignore. <coughs> and then this one's got Miss Piggy when she was a big star in the 80s. And I think that's pretty neat. Well, next thing I'm going to show you will do it. Oh, I almost forgot. That would be pretty mean of me to not show you my Barbara Streisand album. I got this one on the cheap too. It's pretty cool. It's the Guilty album with Mary Gibb from the Bee Gees. And unfortunately, two of the Bee Gees are gone now, so there won't be another Bee Gees album. But Barry put out a pretty good album last year, so that's well, pretty sweet. Nice. And last but not least, Michael Jackson's Thriller. There were so many of these made that you could find them just about anywhere at a really good price. So I'm going to walk out later. Right on. Peace out. So folks, while Kip is over there changing into his shirts and stuff, I'll show you a couple more of my finds. Yeah. Freddy Fender. Wasted days and wasted nights. Crazy, crazy baby. Yeah. It's a classic right there, man. That dude's incredible, yeah. I got this hat too. Look at that. It's incredible, huh? Pretty nice. You won't see me in the forest. Huh? All right. I also got... Oh, yeah, Dr. J, look at that. It's incredible, huh? From back in the day, Julius Irving. All the way, yeah. Right on. How's it going over there, Kip? Well, I'm just about ready to show you my other shirt. I picked this up as motivation when I'm training for my mono e mono fisticuffs in the cage. I think I got a really good deal on these polos that I'm going to use when I take La Fonda out on the town. It seems like a pretty neutral, inoffensive color that can be used in any situation. Now when I put this one on, La Fonda knows things are going to get wild. I found this shirt over at the thrift store as well. Yeah. The Berkey style, or as my brother El Macho says, Burke style. It's from his video, man. Yeah. Have you guys seen it? It's on YouTube. Yeah, do a search for Burke style. B-U-R-Q-U-E style. It's an amazing video. Well, these are some of the things that I got. You all know this shirt. It smells like victory. Because Pedro won. What do you think? And then I got this cool He-Man toy. I have the power. It's pretty cool. I like this. And then I got this Mad Magazine from the 80s. It looks like it'll be pretty funny, even though I don't really know who these people are. While Napoleon's over putting on some of his merchandise, I'll show you a couple more of my finds. And then, look at this baby. Yeah, an original members only jacket. Matches my Grand National, if you know what I'm talking about, yeah. I found this sweet shirt for workouts or even tetherball. And when fools look at it, they'll know not to mess with me. <laughs> right, folks, look at this baby. Look at that. 
You know, it's written to some dude named John, but that's all right. I can always put my name in there. That won't be a problem. That dude's amazing. I say that a lot, huh? One of the best quarterbacks ever. And up next, look at this. Yeah. Bruce Lee book in French. Francais. Ho, ho, ho. Get your Jeet Kune Do on. Yeah. All right, man. For you NASCAR fans out there, check this out. Oh, man. Old school. Jeff Gordon. Star Wars Episode One shirt. Look at that. Yeah. Pretty sweet, huh? Alright, tell us about your shirt, Napoleon. Well, this is the last shirt I got. And it really makes me want to reach for the stars. And make all my wildest dreams come true. I think it'll go well in my wardrobe. Nice. Hey, Napoleon, weren't you in a movie one time? Oh, uh, no, I get that all the time. You're thinking of somebody else. No, I, I think it's you because I remember seeing on, on the YouTube there was a video. And I'm pretty sure you were in it, yeah. And and it was a, it's called Napoleon, the Napoleon Parable, something like that. Do a, do a search, Napoleon Parable. And this dude's in it, yeah. It's an incredible movie, man. In fact, at this garage sale, I found the Tater Tots. These are the original Tater Tots. Check it out. From that, from that video on YouTube. They're a little crunchy, but one of these days we're going to eat them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to finish those tots? <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, folks. It's our major haul for this week. See ya. Right on. Macho out! That dude's incredible, yeah. It's incredible, huh? It's an amazing video. It's amazing. How's it going over there, Kip? Well, just about ready. To sell you my other shirt. Whoa! Look at that. Rock on, man. <laughs> I think it's going to be funny here in a minute. It's funny to me. It's not going to be funny to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, cup of coffee in the morning, man, you gotta get it, okay. It's pretty sweet, man. Well, princess, oh, princess, oh, princess. Life isn't all about dressing up fly for my lady. I also picked up this shirt when I'm training for mono a mono fifticuffs in the cage. Because life isn't all, I already said that. I picked... <laughs> and then you're never going to see the rest of that money again. <laughs> I think I got a really good deal on these polos. And I'm going to use these when I take the Fonda out on the town. I'm going to do that again. I think I said Rafonda. Sometimes she can be rough, huh? <laughs> you just really need to start working with professionals. Because some of these, <laughs> these guys you're pulling off the street aren't working. <laughs> Now when I put this one on, LaFonta knows things are going to get wild. <laughs> Not a good week for putting on, putting on shirts. That's so okay. sweet, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. That's how the magic's made, boy.